Good morning and welcome back. The spring semester has begun for students, so we're picking up again with our Science with Sarah school visits. So today, Sarah Spivey and David Sears are out at San Antonio Christian School doing an experiment with film canisters. Good morning, guys. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, uh, my goodness. We're this, about to have 50 are, cannons go We are about to have 50 film canister rockets go off in a few minutes here. But first, we want to show you all how to do this experiment at home. Home. We are at San Antonio Christian School. This one, David, glasses. you need the safety goggles. Safety goggles. Safety first. Here we go. Safety first. Or glasses will work just fine. Now, we are okay. studying Newton's third law of motion. Who? For Newton. Who is he? Gravity guy. Okay. Okay? For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Okay. It's how we get rockets to work to counteract. Did you guys get that? Every action, equal and opposite reaction? Awesome. Okay, we're good. It's how we get rockets to fly to counteract the force of gravity. So what you need in order to do this experiment is a film canister, David. From the 1990s. <laughs> or the early aughts, whatever works for you. By the way, if you're curious about where to get these, I got them on Amazon. So, And you're going to need a little water and an Alka-Seltzer tablet. That's it. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. So, plop, plop, fizz, fizz. So what you'll do first, David, is you'll fill... Are we going to show them what it does first? Oh, yeah, let's show them what an Alka-Seltzer tablet does. Just in case you don't take them at home. Yeah, just in case. So as you can see, If you Alka don't need the medication, don't drink it because yep, it's nasty. It is kind of gross. Mm. Um, Alka-Seltzer has do. citric acid and baking soda, and right. when they combine, right. they create gas, carbon dioxide gas. Mm, gas. So we're going to trap all that gas in one of these film rockets, So what mm. film canister rockets. So pour them about a third of the way full, David. Third. Of water. Yep. Ooh, that's a little much. Okay. All right. And then you're going to get out your Alka Seltzer tablet. I'm going to set off three at a time and see what happens. Okay. So go ahead and grab your Alka Seltzer tablets, David. Okay, One in each? One in each. This right. is important. When you do this experiment, once you plop the Alka Seltzer tablet in there, you flip it and you step back, okay, because you don't want to get hit in the eye with it. Let's Ooh. try this, David. Okay? Go, go, go. Go okay. ahead. You start yours. Okay. There you go. Uh-oh. Till it clicks. And I'm stepping back, okay? That one only went like a few inches up because I didn't seal it fast enough. Let's see what happens with these ah. two. It's pressure. Can you see the pressure building up? <laughs> Watch it, David. David's not. Okay. So let's let's pause for a second. I want to talk about the science behind this, David. Okay. You're creating all of that gas in that film canister and it just ends up popping up and going real fast. So, guys, are you guys excited to do this experiment? Yeah! See, see how high the rocket goes? Okay, look how long it takes. That's so much pressure building up there. All right, we'll be back in just a bit to show you how these Alka-Seltzer rockets and film canister rockets, I'm trying to make a TV moment here. It's not happening. We'll see how they fly coming up after the break. <laughs> Second table. So much fun. All right, table three, listen up. You ready, guys? Okay, when I count to three, put the thing in there and flip it. And okay? Three, one, two, three, go. Lid on tight. Flip it. Back up. Back up. Hannah, you're just leaking. It may still go. Here we go. Here we go. Why did it work? Why did it work? Why did the rocket fly? 
Yeah. What? Okay. No. Pressure. Pressure. Pressure from the gas. That's from exactly what? What was the pressure from? From uh, the fizz. Yep, from the gas. Okay, table two, are you guys right. ready? Okay. Oh, man. Here we go. Table right, you guys two. Ready? Here you go. When I count to three, one, two, three. Oh, start early. You're all right, you're all right. Let's one, go. two, three. Pop it in and flip it. Back out. <laughs> It went. Come here. Now you thought it would reach the ceiling, didn't you? And? It, my hypothesis was right because it hit the top of the roof. It hit the top. Why did it hit the top? Because um, it, I, the the tablet um, and the gas was working, and it and the pressure sealed up, and then it. Yes. It and went who close. discovered gravity? Uh, I think Newton. Yeah, there we go. Some we got it. Newton. Okay. All right. All right. I table thought that was one. Fig Newtons. Table one oh, full of fun. Give me a second. I'm going to count to three. <laughs> All right. You ready? Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. So before we did the experiment, you had it figured out. So what happened? Did it work the way you thought it would? Describe how it all went. Um, it went very well. Okay. What did what what did you do? What was the experiment about? How did it all work? Um, the experiment was a bunch of pressure built built up in into a rocket, and what when we flipped it over, the cap was the most like open, so it could uh, so the cap was the one that. Um, it basically exploded uh, yeah. to go up. It basically, basically exploded. exploded. So we had a lot of correct. explosions today. Awesome, guys. What did you think about this experiment? <laughs> so cool. So here's the thing. You can keep your film canister and you can do this at home again. What I want you to experiment with is trying different levels of water, okay? Different levels of water. David, why don't you go ahead and get one going and we can try to see if we can end with a, a bang here. So, try that. And then also another way, thing you can do is try vinegar, guys. Oh. Try vinegar and see if you get a larger explosion, okay? Now, was anybody's hypothesis correct? Yeah. It hit the ceiling, right? If your rocket did not go off, it's probably because there, you didn't snap the lid shut enough or there was a leak in the film canister. Okay, David's going. Let's see. I filled it up pretty hot. Pop, pop, fizz, fizz. All right, everybody, why don't you wave? Okay. This is an awesome... Whoa! That had more water and it didn't go as high. So wave, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, that was one of the best ones yet. That was awesome, guys. Very Great nice. Job. Great job.